Welcome to the Line Array Calculator 3 feature update video for version 3.4. This quick overview will showcase the new features and improvements introduced in this update. In addition to the previous ability to copy and paste venue geometry across LAC files with the clipboard, we have now added the ability to export and import venue geometry as files. The new menu here allows you to export and import files in .gcf format using typical import and export dialogs. This feature can be used to share venue files or to transfer venue geometry from one instance of LAC to another. For more complex venues, we have added a Show Hide button next to each venue plane. This will allow you to clean up your view and allow prediction of focused parts of the venue as hidden planes are not included in the mapping calculations. Some enhancements in mapping mode include a new speaker settings panel. This panel allows you to easily define the speaker preset and define the circuiting mode. The preset you select will automatically be imported into Performance Manager and programmed into the amplifier. The circuit grouping you choose will automatically circuit your speakers in LAC, just like with Performance Manager. If you wish to do something non-typical, you can choose Custom. For systems that have different amplification modes, like V20 with bi-amp or active modes, or with dual subwoofers that can be driven in discrete or parallel modes, you can now define that here and have it import into Performance Manager as well. When mixed arrays are created, like B18 and A8, two settings panels are available to present options related to each system, and you can collapse or expand the panels to show or hide that panel information. In the Line Array Control Panel, we have added new buttons to simplify switching between circuit groups without having to close and reopen the LACP panel. The Master Circuit LACP buttons now turn orange when a given circuit's LACP filters are active. There is also a new Master Reset button that restores the LACP settings back to default across all circuit groups. If you're using A12 and A12W, you can now add A12W at the top or bottom of an array to allow for close balcony situations or other use cases where A12W needs to be at the top of an array. In SPL mapping, a new Calculate button has been added to the mapping page that prevents the acoustical engine from constantly running, causing unnecessary CPU usage. If you make a change that affects the acoustic response of what is drawn, the SPL colors are removed and not regenerated until Calculate is pressed again. This Suspension Mode drop-down menu selects between compression or tension style rigging for supported systems like V20. Depending on the selection, mechanical options like array frames and accessories are adjusted to only show the appropriate options for each mode. When set to compression mode, a new compression link illustration appears in the array drawing window. For arrays that might be better rigged using dual points, side-by-side -side points, or quad point rigging as is sometimes required on outdoor stages and locations with low point load maximums, we have added a new Suspension Point option to the Configuration page. Choosing one of these options will automatically show you only compatible hardware and geometry for the array. Changes to the weight and center of gravity of the array due to the additional hardware required are automatically calculated. Dual Point Side-by-Side -side assumes two suspension points on the horizontal axis will be used and Quad Point assumes four corner suspension points on two extension bars are used. When creating a larger subwoofer array, you can now use this button that will automatically copy the arrangement and properties of the subwoofers in the first container to all of the other containers. If we build a system with six containers of three subwoofers and want them to be B18s in cardioid configuration, 
we can simply change container one and press this new auto copy button to copy all of the changes to the other containers. We have moved the location of the spacing parameter to be stored within each file. To define whether we are using center to center or edge to edge system spacing, we can now go here for quicker access. A redesigned PDF export is available for ground stack subwoofer arrays that shows all of the details needed to implement the arrays in the field. As we continue to improve and refine our software solutions, we encourage you to pass along any additional questions or feature requests. If you would like to find more of our education resources, please be sure to click subscribe on our YouTube channel and check out jblpro.com edu for links to additional resources, training calendars, and more videos. Thanks for watching.